Kill to Bowman. Now it's Rodney Jones' chance against Treffler for the shot. Good. For I don't know how he got it away, <laughs> but he did. Unorthodox? Well, you might call Rodney Jones basketball. Rodney inside against the big fella. Sheffler right on his back, and Rodney kind of double pumped and heaved it up there with two hands, and it went in. That's a kind of look like a game of horse. You top <laughs> this, right? I would like to see the five-minute mark here in the first half. And Steven Schreckler has not scored a point in the game. Outside burning. Well, he and Jones are really murdering each other. Oh, they're Sorry. really going at it. So far, no call. Oh, Jones labeled it. And he got the call. Schreckler. I should say Schreckler labeled Jones. And he really did with an elbow. And look at look Katie. that. Katie is going at it, isn't he? Well, if he had our angle, he might not be so upset. He just Here's why Katie is so foul. Called on Katie. He threw his sport coat up in the air because of all of this right here that you see. Watch Scheffler and Jones. There's the elbow. You saw it right there. And Katie picks up the tee. Oh, it's... As big as Scheffler is, it's a wonder he doesn't get called for more of that. He was an All-State tackle in high school in Michigan, too, Dan, along with being an All-State football player. There you see the T called on G. He not done yet. Well, I think they got two T's, and that's really going to hurt. Jones will get the one-and-one, one, first of all, and then Illinois may shoot four technical free throws. A big turnaround coming up right here if Illinois can cash in at the line. Boy, we can get a lot of points with nothing going on. There's two. And now Kendall Gill, I think, or will it be? Yeah, it will be Kendall Gill to the free throw line. And the crowd is going bananas here. 16,000 plus. Good thing we've got these headphones on, Dan. <laughs> Couldn't hear anything down here. Gene, Katie. Gill has got eight in the game. Illinois leads by 12. They get the ball out of bounds with 4.52 to go in the first half. So just one technical foul call, the two-shot tee on the bench on G. Katie. But now Illinois gets it with that 12-point lead, Dick, and a chance to really open up some daylight. Now what are they going to call? I don't know. Oh, now they're, the bench has uh, called London Bradley over to say there were two technical fouls called. Well, they said another T, and yeah. Gene Cady is still going after Terry Stout. He is smoking over there. Now, they're going to have to regroup. The officials will have to regroup. You had said they had two T's. Again, here's the play that precipitated everything. Rodney Jones and Steve Scheffler going at it. Watch him put the shoulder into him, the big left forearm. Okay, Sam Licklider over to explain that two officials call technical fouls on Katie. One each, so one cancels out, of course. Just one on the bench and two free throws. So 28-16 Illinois ball, 4.40 to play. Oh, under to Liberty! That's just bad defense by Purdue. I think the Boilermakers are a little bit rattled right now, and Illinois has got them on the ropes. We went from 16 all to 30 to 16 Illinois. Bardo. Turnaround by Bardo. A fine individual effort by Stephen Bardo. The Illini are up, you see, there with three minutes and 40 seconds to go 